So there's 22 kids in my immediate family. Let me show you how this breaks down. Caleb, what are you two watching together? Baby sign time. A new one now. Baby sign time. Baby sign time. Baby, 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 baby sign time. time. Okay, today is the day we are headed out on the road trip to Colorado for Jeremy's family reunion. So, um, it should be a lot of fun. I keep thinking this morning as we're doing laundry and folding and packing and trying to clean the house and getting everything ready for the car trip and getting everything ready for the breakfast for 35 that I'm in charge of when we're there. Anyway, I've been thinking about like these posts and pictures and videos that I see on YouTube that are like how to pack for vacation and they always like show their open suitcase and it looks like so nice and neat and like half full. Like I'm like, I'd have jammed that thing way fuller. Anyway, and then I look at my own chaos and I'm like, Hmm, how to not pack for your vacation. Wait till the very last day, make sure that all your laundry is clean, and then have your kids help you so you end up having no idea what's in any suitcase anywhere. So here's what we are in the middle of. Um, I'm having the kids get their clothes approved by me and everything that's going with us is going over here by the fireplace. All right, so Caleb chose this as his Sunday outfit. Mm, yes. Yeah? I, he thought I did my brown. Hi, I'm still missing my shirt socks. We'll have to find them. All right, here's our road trip snack food haul. You can see Kendra got some of the healthy stuff over here and then some of the goodness to like keep us awake during the night. And uh, we also have just some food to keep the kids happy. So we're gonna be driving there 12 hours during the night and then when we come back during the day. Do you remember all your aunts and uncles and cousins' names? Uh, I'm still working on them. Yeah. So yesterday we were starting to do some laundry and talking a lot about the trip and Elise came up to me and she was like, Mom, I'm so nervous. I don't even know everybody's names. And this is, Jeremy has a big family and some of them we haven't seen for a year and a half, maybe two years. A bunch of them haven't met Laura yet. And so it was really just cute. So I came over and sat by her and we talked through the whole family, like how everybody was connected. So there's 22 kids in my immediate family. Let me show you how this breaks down because we're getting ready to go to my reunion and I want you to understand how this all works. So there were six kids in my original family. One girl, the oldest, and then five boys. So I was the third oldest, and then Brent, who also lives here in Kansas City with us, and you've seen him around, he was the second oldest. When I was 12 years old, my parents got divorced. My mom remarried a man who had seven children. And my dad remarried a woman who had two kids. Then my dad and my stepmom had three boys together. Those are my half-brothers. Looks like my purple pen is dying. Then both my mom and my dad got divorced again to the people they were married to. My mom remarried a man who had eight children. And then my mom and my stepdad had a little girl together. That's my half-sister. I guess I'll just draw a line through X steps. So then my dad remarried a woman who had four children. So this is how you can have 22 kids in one family. There were six kids in my original family. I now have four half-siblings and 12 step-siblings. And I guess technically there's four parents. So there's 26 people in my immediate family. I wanted to draw my life for you sometime to get more into the juicy details of how this all happened and how it impacted me. There were times that I lived alone, just me and my dad, and there were times where I lived with 18 people in one house. And so there's a lot to it. At the reunion is gonna be both of my parents and their spouses, my siblings, their families, and my half-siblings. So it should be a lot of fun. Her name is Emily. Yeah. Just like my favorite aunt's name. Oh, very nice. This is a coat if she's really cold. And here's a skirt. I'm still figuring out what the top is. And leggings. So you're all packed for Emily? Mm. Yep. Is she going to come on our trip with us? <laughs> yep, because she's my real baby. Oh, very nice. And I always have babysitters. It's for true. Her. And here's her another shoe. You got them both. All right. Well, I'm excited Emily gets to come with us. All right, so I have an invention idea. I want to make a toilet seat that has a shield so that you can't pee through the gap between the toilet and the toilet seat. Caleb just came in to go potty and he was doing everything right or so he thought and then suddenly pee was just streaming right through that gap. So they just need to put a little shield right there and then it wouldn't be a problem. 
So the kids are getting pretty excited. I think we're going to let them pack their own bags, like put the stuff in bags and carry it themselves instead of us carrying one ginormous suitcase. So check this out. Uh, what you got? Are you excited? Yeah. Are we going to pack? Yeah. Alright, Isaac, do you have your duffel? Mm -hmm. You put it on like a backpack? Mm -hmm. Turn around, let's see it. Nice. What have you got, Lisey? My backpack. Mom found it in the dollhouse. Awesome. Turn around, let's see it. Woo, it's a Dora backpack. Caleb, what have you got? Um, a black one. You have a black one? There it is. What's on the ground? I got one. You have two of them? What are you going to do with two? Nailed it. <laughs> Turn around. Let's see the whole thing. Spin around. Oh, good. He'll be ready to go. Do you think you could carry my bag too, buddy? He could put it on top of his head. Caleb, are we driving or flying? Driving. If we fly, it'll take a lot faster to, for us to get, go there more. It's true. All day he's been coming up to me saying, Mom, we need to decide if we're going to fly or drive. I'm like... We're driving. And he's like, but if we fly, we'll get there faster. I'm like, sorry, bud, we're driving. He comes back later. So we need to decide if we're flying or driving. I'm like, buddy, <laughs> we've been through this. We're driving. All right, so wish us luck. Hopefully we can get this place packed up and cleaned up and hit the road. We are planning on driving through the night tonight, which means you need to go edit. I know. Since we're going to be driving all night tonight, we have a special video for the 4th of July coming up tomorrow. And then we're going to have a video of... Colorado and the place we're gonna be—it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're so. gonna do a vacation house tour, at least we hope to. Yeah. And make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram because we'll be showing more of what's going on on the trip. So make sure to go there to see some fun stuff. Yay, house out! See you in Colorado. Hi, I'm Mary, and this is Samson. J House out. Hey guys, my name is Sarah, and I met you guys at Dallas and Galleria Mall. I love your vlogs. Jay House out. We're family for real. Jay House out.